Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Brent Weinberg from Learner Radiology. We're going through this barrage of brain tumor cases to get ready for the ABR exams. Today we have a 37 year old woman who's having seizure. What you'll find a lot of these brain tumor patients, seizure is going to be the history provided. Here we have a couple of images from a CT. We've got a brain window, we've got a bone window here. This uh, little yield triangle here means that we're gonna pause for a second as we look at these. So just kind of focus on what you think the abnormality might be. Now we're gonna have a question. So your question is, which of the following brain lesions is commonly associated with calcification? So is it metastases, lymphoma, oligodendroglioma, or demyelinating disease? So this is kind of getting at which of the brain lesions are most commonly going to calcify. So here, uh, your differential when you have calcified masses in the brain, you're thinking about tumors, so oligodendrogliomas, meningiomas, PXAs, like particularly can calcify. If you're thinking about uh, metastases, they will rarely calcify if they are bone tumors. So osteoid uh, tumors, osteosarcomas, chondrosarcomas, those can calcify. Vascular malformations such as AVMs, hemangiomas can also calcify. So keep those in mind if you're looking at a calcified mass. Now we're going to take a look at some more images from this case. Uh, so this would be a, similar to one of these AVR two-part questions where you have to click through. We have some blood sensitive imaging or GRE imaging here. We have a T2 in the middle. We have a flare on the right. You've got that abnormality in the right temporal lobe there. Just keep an eye on that as we move forward. Here's your pre and post contrast imaging. So you've got an axial pre contrast here, you've got an axial post contrast, you've got a coronal post contrast. The question is going to be coming up next. So you've had that differential talk about what you're thinking about if it's calcified. We did see a little calcification in that. So your question is going to be what's your most likely diagnosis? All right, so in this case, you're looking at a pleomorphic xanthroastrocytoma. We call that PXA because it's kind of a mouthful to say that whole thing. These are rare, but usually relatively indolent tumors. These tend to be grade two lesions. They usually occur in children and young adults. So think about teenagers and the patients in their 20s. Their location is often supratentorial. It's usually superficial cortex and often in the temporal or frontal lobes. Their imaging appearance, so it can be round or oval. They may be, have cystic components or be predominantly cystic. They may have an enhancing nodule, kind of similar to what we've talked about in some of the other cases. They can have dural tails as well, which is a trademark of PXA in terms of these intraparenchymal tumors. One key feature I like to point out is PXAs will often look like a much higher grade tumor. So their imaging appearance is worse than their, than their prognosis. Here you see the CT we showed at the beginning. On your brain window, you've got a cystic lesion in the right temporal lobe here, a little bit of calcification there. Your bone window confirms that that's a, probably some calcification, a little bit of mass effect. And uh, as you move forward, we see on the uh, susceptibility weighted imaging or GRE, we see some uh, low intensity stuff there. Now, it's probably not blood products in this case, it's probably calcification. So you're seeing little bits of calcification there, maybe a little bit of blood. On your T2, you see areas which look more solid, areas that look more T2 hyper intense. And on your flare, you kind of uh, get an idea of that sort of same appearance in the temporal lobe. On your post contrast imaging, it's pretty iso intense to brain, except for maybe that cystic part. And here you see on the post contrast, you get a very irregular, kind of strange looking appearance here. And so you got a lot of enhancement there. It's enhancing pretty avidly, uh, but that's uh, what, what these tumors can look like. Now, I've put together a framework here for you if you're looking at cortical temporal tumors, a way that you might kind of think about what you're looking at. First, you want to think about are you looking at an ill-defined lesion and uh, how ill-defined it is? If it is, be thinking about low-grade gliomas like astrocytomas and oligodendrogliomas. These tend to be larger, a little bit more expansile. If you if they're pretty well defined, then uh, try to divide whether they have enhancement. If you have enhancement, you're probably looking at a ganglioglioma, which tend to be little cystic lesions with some enhancement. If they're more heterogeneous and they have a dural tail, you might be looking at a PXA like in this case. If you have no enhancement and you're looking at a cystic bubbly lesion, then think about DNET. 
Now this often applies in uh, testing situations, but in practice there's much overlap between these, uh, so it can be hard to tell without a biopsy. So your multiple choice question which went with this case is which of these brain lesions is commonly associated with calcification? We talked a little bit that, about that in the differential. Oligodendrogliomas are associated with calcification. PXAs like we saw here, bone tumors. It's rare for metastases or lymphoma to calcify. Lymphoma usually calcifies only if it's been treated. Uh, demyelinating disease would be rare to uh, have calcification as well. So if you see that, like you think about oligodendroglioma. Thanks to everyone for tuning in to case number seven of the Brain Tumor Board Review. We're going to have other cases coming up soon, so be sure to check back frequently. Take a look at those. If you haven't checked out the other Board Review cases, be sure to check out the website and the Board Review uh, playlist uh, where we have a lot more of that content. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, be sure to check back, like the videos, and subscribe. Thanks.